If you would like to manually modify your auto-generated or imported topology, or if you would like to create a custom microarchitecture for your specification, then you can use the NIC400 microarchitecture editor plugin that offers full flexibility in controlling the internal topology of your NIC400 component. It also has a built-in validator which runs a set of design rule checks and ensures that the microarchitecture remains consistent with the specification. The output of the validator can be seen in the message view window. The implementation view toolbar on the left allows you to make the following topology manipulation actions. Create a switch. Connect two selected blocks. Delete the selected block or connection. Create an IB. Create a GPV port on a switch for accessing the programmable features through the different configuration registers. Create a default slave on a switch for returning an error response if a transaction targets an unmapped area in the memory map. Optimize the selected switch, that means the tool will automatically remove any path that is not defined by the specification. Optimize the display, which will make the microarchitecture blocks and connections shown in the topology window better organized. On the top right, you have three tabs that allow to modify certain settings on the selected block. The Parameters tab lets you edit attributes such as protocol, clock domain, data widths and so on, as long as these don't contradict the specification. As you can see, for boundary interfaces, so ACIBs and AMIBs, most of these options are greyed out as those are defined in the specification. The Time Enclosure tab allows you to add register slices on the different AXI channels of slave and master ports of the selected ACIBs, IBs or AMIBs to meet the necessary timing requirements within your created design. Similarly, the tool also allows you to add the boundary FIFO of configurable depth on each AXI channel. Towards the middle of the screen, you have the Overlays window in which you can enable showing particular characteristics of the created topology such as data widths, protocol, clock domains and so on, using a color coding scheme. The configuration report view shows a microarchitecture specification that describes your created NIC400 topology in great details. This becomes available and is refreshed each time you run the validator. When you are generating your NIC400 deliverables, this file is getting rendered into your project as well in RPT format. You can also enable the auto-calculation of certain metrics, such as relative size indicator and static latency. The relative size indicator generates an area approximation for the created NIC by reporting a relative size of individual blocks to show how the size changes for those blocks when different configuration options are selected. The static latency shows the latency on a path between a selected slave interface and master interface on the NIC boundary. The latency is specified by the number of corresponding clock cycles.